Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find the area of rectangles and squares. Now remember, area is the amount of surface something covers. We will start with rectangles and then move on to squares. Let's jump into rectangles. Starting with number one, where we need to find the area of the rectangle. For finding the area of a rectangle, we can use the formula area equals length times width. I used a cursive L for length so it doesn't look like a one. Not a huge deal though either way, as long as you know it's an L when you write out the formula. Now all we need to do is plug in the length and width and then multiply. I'm going to use the longer side for the length, so six meters, and then three meters for the width. So area equals six meters times three meters. And now we can multiply. Six times three gives us an area of 18 square meters. We measure area in square units, so this is square meters. Before we move on to number two, let's take a look at why we do length times width and look at a visual of area. We have six meters by three meters, so let's draw these out, starting with six meters. So I'm going to mark each meter here, so one, two, three, four, five and six. So we have six meters there. And now we can do the width. So three meters, one, two and three. You'll notice that we have squares now. These are square units. And specifically for number one, those are square meters. That just means that each square is one meter by one meter. And this is a square meter. When we find area, we find how many square units something covers. So for number one, how many square meters does this rectangle cover? Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, which is exactly the same thing we got by doing length times width. So by drawing all of that out, this helps us visualize area and square units, but it's much quicker just to do length times width. Let's move on to number two. And for this one, we're just going to use the formula. So area equals length times width. So let's plug in the length. We're going to use 19 feet. So 19 feet times the width of five feet. So again, I used the longer side for the length. Now for number two, it's a little different than number one because all four side lengths are written out. That doesn't mean we need all four side lengths. We still just need the length and width. We're not multiplying everything that's written out or given. So something to keep in mind. Now we can multiply. So 19 times five gives us an area of 95 square feet. So there's how to find the area of a rectangle. Let's move on to finding the area of a square. Now we're going to take a look at how to find the area of a square. Let's jump into our examples, starting with number one, where we need to find the area of that square. Now for squares, we can find the area by squaring a side length. So we can use the formula area equals a side length squared. And for this square, each side is eight inches. So let's plug in 
eight inches here for our side length. So eight squared. Eight squared means eight times eight, which gives us an area of 64 square inches. Let's move on to number two, where we have a square with sides that are 11 meters. And you'll notice that we only have one side labeled. That's because this is a square and we know all of the sides are going to be the same. They're all going to be 11 meters. The tick marks on each side of this square show us that they are all the same. We have one tick mark on each side. And that indicates that again, all of the sides are the same. Then we have the 90 degree angles marked as well. I wanted to include these symbols in case you come across them. That way you'll know what they mean. As far as area, let's use the formula area equals a side length squared. And each side, is 11 meters. So let's plug in 11 meters for the side length. So 11 squared, that means 11 times 11. That gives us an area of 121 square meters. So there you have it. There's how to find the area of rectangles and squares. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.